Hey, Hobby World, Zach and Porter back with another Epic Mail Day. Yeah, from our friend Vintage Card Steve. Before we jump into that, I wanted to say thank you for all the great comments we got on the uh, card room progression video and showing our new space. And um, I was surprised. There's so many people that said we were organized. And there are times I don't think we're that organized. Yeah. But I guess uh, I guess we are fairly organized for, for the cards that we have. But we had a lot of fun uh, producing that. And we thank you for watching and, and commenting on that. So back to, to today's agenda. Vintage Card Steve uh, is a fantastic YouTube and collector. Um, he gives shout outs, he does showcases, and he gave us a shout out pretty early on. I think he found us through uh, Bear Cards. Um, and so um, we yeah, had- Yeah, what was that, two years ago yeah, already? Yeah, about, it's hard to believe we've been doing uh, videos that long. But uh, we showed an Eric Davis card and and he wrote me or he made a comment that he didn't have the Eric Davis eighty five tops rookie. So I said, well, hey, I'm going to send it to you. So I ended up you know reaching out to him by email, exchanged uh, addresses, and you know sent him off a couple of Eric Davis. Well, he sends me a note that he had a bunch of cards and doubles that he was going to get rid of and wanted to share them with Porter. And I mean, when this mail day, I was actually out of town when this showed up, and uh, Porter was just overwhelmed. Yeah. Way. Yeah, so I, I knew that there may be a couple of um, grail cards for us. I know that's a, a term that's thrown around a lot, but uh, it, it's just crazy. So we've got some crazy vintage cards and some rookies that have been on Porter's Want List for a little while. But we're going to start with some random stuff because he included a huge box of you know cards that weren't in cases. Got a John Smoltz rookie card here from 1989 Tops. Always love Eddie Murray. Love the 88 Fleer. Thought this was really cool. 1981 Ozzy Smith. Uh, Ken Griffey Jr., so a more modern card. Of course, with the hat backwards, that's the way I remember him. And then, you know, I vintage, love 2024 Tops Heritage. Vintage, this is so cool. It is cool. And Vintage Card Steve sent me a text. He's like, do you have this? And I said, I'm from the era where if somebody's going to send you a 1990 Tops Ken Griffey Jr., you don't turn it down. No. Uh, you never say no to that. And then I didn't have any of these. And he sent us a bunch of Ryan Sandbergs. 1985 Tops All-Star. Always wanted that. Always wanted this one. Thought there was such a cool image there with the color. And then the second year, Ryan Sandberg, 1984 tops. Got a Randy Johnson rookie card from 1989 tops. And then last but not least, we've got a John Lynch rookie card from uh, 1993 tops. And then you had some oversized cards you wanted to share. These are those really cool game day cards. Mm -hmm. um, first, Maury Buford. Super Bowl winning punter, Keith Van Horn, Dennis Gentry, making an over-the-shoulder catch, Mark Bortz, and the Rolex-wearing punter, Reggie Roby. Now, we are going to jump into some... Now. <laughs> <laughs> now, we are going to run into some uh, pretty amazing stuff here. I am still floored, and I think many of you are going to be like, wow, so... Uh, if you do not uh, follow Vintage Card Steve, we'll put a link to his channel in the description. Please do share some love. He is a uh, very generous member of the hobby community. So to start off, Two Cards of Porter has been begging for us to use some of our budget for, and we've been looking for a pretty, uh, I would say, thrifty, uh, well, I would say, uh, you know, a, a thrifty. fiscally responsible um, pickups at some card shows. Which one are you going to show first? I'm going to show this. It's a 1983 Tops Tony Gwynn rookie. So we've been trying to pick up these rookie cards. We have the 83 Fleer of Gwynn, but we never had the Tops. So I still, Steve, this was just too much. And then this one, Porter, each card show we've been going to for the last few months, we've been trying to find a, a decent copy of this. 1983 Tops. Ryan Sandberg. Yeah. So just fantastic. Um, just so awesome. Thank you, uh, Steve. Now, the rest of this, I still can't believe this. Just a ton of vintage. Um, Here, let me... This is... These are the cards left. These are all in cases or one touches. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, starting off, you got an Ernie Banks from 1961? I think it was 61 or 60, mm -hmm. yep. I think 61 since it's a 60 All-Star. Mm-hmm. 72, Tim McCarver. Hoyt Wilhelm from 1971. Dave Parker from 1975. Yeah, I think that's a second year card. Jim Davenport from 19... I believe that's 67. 64. Okay. Tony Perez. 1972 tops. 
1969 Don Kissinger. Yeah, I love the or way. Or this is 68. I love the look of that hat there, or the uh, the helmet, the nacho helmet. He looks like, for, from afar, he looks like he'd be a coach. Yeah, yeah. Raleigh Fingers. Willie Stargell. Eddie Stanky. Yeah, nice coach card here. Another Willie Stargell. This is from 65. Two Ron Santos that are awesome. The one Oops. on the right is from, I think that's 63. And the one on the left is from 68. And you tell me if you see it. Doesn't he look like Rizzo? He kind of looks like Anthony Rizzo. Nah. You don't think so? I don't think. Okay. I, All right. Okay. No, I don't think so. And then these last three are amazing. Yeah. 1971 top Bob Gibson. Wow. Uh, 2016 MLB debut, May 25th, 1951. Willie Mays, commemorative medallion patch. And I've never seen one of those before. Obviously, we, and we like the manufacturer relics. I know our guy, I Diego, swear I've seen one of these. I know before. our guy Diego likes them too. Some people only like the patch relics, but I, I like when there's, you know, the, the just relic or even some of those with MLB, they got the helmet. And then uh, another cool Project 2020 card to add to our collection, the Dwight Gooden rookie card variation. Check that out. And I think awesome. that's a Ben Baller one, if I'm, um, if I'm not mistaken. I think it says yeah. in the back. Ben Baller did the card. Yep, there you go. So Vintage Card Steve, I mean, absolutely outdid himself. I know that he said that some of these were duplicates, but, you know, it, just amazing. Uh, the, the Gwyn, the Sandberg, the Banks, the Stargell, Bob Gibson, just so many, so many great cards. Um, and even I, I love the 1985 Topps Ryan Sandberg. I'm not kidding. I mean, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. When you collect it in that era, especially being a kid that was a, you know, White Sox fan. I mean, Ryan Sandberg was, was so cool. And, uh, and now finally, finally have those cards. So give Vintage Card Steve some love. Want to thank him. Want to thank you all for watching and subscribing. Bye-bye.